Welcome to Center of Math's basic series on uh, real analysis. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Riemann integration. So, so first uh, we want to define a partition. So we have some closed interval AB. Our partition is just a sequence of numbers where A equals X naught, B equals Xn, and it's X naught x1, x2, etc., uh, such that xi uh, is strictly less than xi plus 1. So it's just some, uh, some sequence of numbers that are spread out over this closed interval, a, b. Uh, the width will be, just be the maximum distance between any two adjacent uh, numbers in the sequence. So max absolute value of xi minus xi minus 1 for i between 0 and n. Uh, and so we say a function is a Riemann integral if the sum, if we have some, uh, if, uh, let's say, f, f, f of xi, f of x is defined on some interval a, b, we take some partition of xi's on this interval, and so the sum i from i equals 1 to n of f of xi prime times x of i minus xi minus 1. x of i prime is just some number between uh, x of i and xi minus 1. It's arbitrary. And we say as the width of this partition goes to zero, this sum will uh, approach some uh, number a, which will be the value of its integral. So more rigorously, uh, as we say, as the width of the partition less than delta, this minus some number, absolute value of that is less than absolute. So this approaches some value, which will be the integral of f of xi on the uh, integral a, b. So we can prove that the integral on the integral a, b of uh, f of x plus g of x dx for two Riemann integral uh, functions, f of x and g of x, equals integral from a to, uh, to b of f of x dx plus integral from a to b of g of x dx. So to do this, uh, first we're going to choose two partitions and Riemann sums for f and g respectively. And we're, so we're going to have widths delta 1, delta 2 such that for x minus x is not less than delta 1 and delta 2. Uh, the sum uh, s1 for some width, some partition with width less delta 1, s1 minus integral a, b, f of x, dx is going to be less than e over 2. And we know this because f of x is Riemann integral, so it has for some uh, Riemann sum referring to a partition less than delta 1, this will be less than uh, e over 2 for e, uh, any real number greater than 0. Uh, we do the same thing for g of x. And so now we want to show uh, for, so for uh, uh, our sum, our function is f of, x, uh, f of x plus g of x. xi is just the x between uh, xi and xi minus 1. So we want to show for partition small enough. So this gets uh, close, as close as we want to uh, integral a, of a to b of f of x plus integral a to b of g of x. Uh, so. Uh, so yeah, so we want to show this gets as close as we want to the thing on the right side. And so we're picking our partition to be of width less than the minimum of delta 1, delta 2, so both our inequalities apply. And so we're going to rearrange this and use the triangle inequality to get uh, a ring and sum of, uh, of uh, width less than delta 1. That minus integral from a to b of f of x dx. Uh, so we know this is going to be less than e over 2 because the, the width is less than delta 1, so this will apply. And the same thing for here, except with g of x, we're going to again have something less than e over 2. And so this plus that is less than e over 2 plus e over 2, which equals e. And so that tells us uh, our Riemann sums of f of x plus g of x, I guess, close up to we want to these two values summed together on the right. And so we have this equality. So 
So we can show the integral from AB of C times some function f of x dx is equal to C times the integral from AB of f of x dx, where f of x is some Riemann integral function. So we're going to take some Riemann sum s of, uh, of, of f of x, uh, taking the width of the partition v less than delta, so s minus integral from AB f of x dx is less than e over the absolute value of C. Uh, so if we take our partition to be of width less than delta, uh, then we have uh, sum from i equals 1 to n, c f of xi prime, xi prime again is just some value between xi and xi minus 1, uh, that times xi minus xi minus 1 minus c times the integral of uh, a, b of f. Uh, so the absolute value of that, we're going to pull out c to get the absolute value of c times the absolute value of another uh, Riemann sum minus the integral of a, b, f of x, but this is just our ordinary our Riemann sum difference for f of x, but since the, uh, the partition is less than delta, so that this, uh, this difference will be less than e over c, e over absolute value c, so this is less than, strictly less than absolute value c times e over absolute value c, which is equal to e, and e being some arbitrary real number greater than zero. And so we see this uh, Riemann sum will get as close as we want to uh, this thing this thing on the right side, and so we see these two have to be equal. Uh, thanks for watching. Please check out sendermat.org, check out our blog, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. If you like these videos, please check out our other real analysis videos.